You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenny. Hey, what's going on everybody? Kenny here hanging out at the camp, still working on cleaning up after Hurricane Irma. Things are going smoothly, but it is a lot of work. I uh, just wanted to uh, do a little Ask Camp Kennan and get a break from the work here. Uh, today's question comes from Charles E. and it revolves around sulcata tortoises. He's got a six-year-old sulcata tortoise that he says has recently become aggressive. And he's got three more smaller tortoises that are quickly catching up in size and he wants to get them all in one enclosure. Now. Oh, we are in the sulcata tortoise enclosure right now and it's hot, it's midday. So the tortoises are kind of hanging out. Excuse me while I fix that plywood. Uh, the tortoise is kind of hanging out and we've got three males in here and eight females and everyone gets along. For the most part, everyone is just so uh, happy here. There's one male, there's the other and then there's Brutus right there. Uh, Lumpy seems to be the alpha male, although this guy here, Mahoney, uh, comes in second and Brutus is just a super chill dude But um, basically what I do when I see aggressive tortoises uh, as you know male tortoises will combat as far as uh, the species of sulcatus They use these guler projections right here and you can see how lumpy can lumpy has some really big guler projections And he can use them and believe it or not these can actually be very dangerous uh, to other tortoises as they're matured, you can imagine a 100 pound tortoise ramming against another tortoise. If he gets this up underneath here, he can push the skin away from the shell. And I've had that happen. Lumpy actually killed a 150 pound tortoise that I had named Zeus. Uh, it was a very, very sad uh, moment. I was away in Australia and my dad was watching things and he really doesn't understand tortoise behavior. So it was a very unfortunate uh, loss for me. Um, and I would recommend, for the most part, when dealing with a uh, tortoise that's getting aggressive, the first thing you want to do is make sure there's a lot of space. Make sure they have a large enough enclosure, there's a lot of space, maybe some visual barriers and a place for the uh, less aggressive male uh, to get out of the way. Now, just because they're two males fighting doesn't mean also that they won't sometimes ram the females and be aggressive to the females. The next thing I do when you see a tortoise picking on a smaller tortoise, uh, what you can do is you can actually flip it over. Flip the aggressor over a few times a day when you see it behaving like that. Eventually, it's going to realize that it is not the dominant male and it's going to stop being aggressive. That has worked for me in the past. Um, very, uh, you know, it can be labor intensive if you have a large tortoise like this. But if you're starting with a smaller tortoise, uh, I would get those tortoises in the same enclosure once they're of appropriate size. And if you notice some aggression, Try and let them work it out. As long as it's not too violent and getting too aggressive all the time and the animal uh, that is being, uh, the less dominant animal is, is being uh, stressed out, you know, that, that would be the problem. Uh, you want to make sure the animal can get away, can move, is still eating, is not getting bullied away from food, uh, and not just sitting in one place hiding all the time. But if you do see that kind of aggression, I would then, you know, take your foot and just flip over the, the guy who's been uh, being kind of the jerk. Just give him a little flip over and let him sit there for a few seconds, then flip him back. Um, keep doing this every time he goes for the uh, other tortoise. Most of the time, I'd say about 70% of the time, the tortoises figure it out on their own. Uh, sometimes you just got to let them work it out on their own. But if this is chronic, you may want to then have, you may want to avoid putting the male in with the colony. If they haven't been raised up together, sometimes it can get a little bit too crazy. So that's my advice. Uh, this group right here of 11 tortoises uh, is a closed group. I do not add any more animals. I just keep them in here. There's one over there, way out there. But uh, I kind of keep these guys all figured out because as soon as you add another female, or another male to this group, it's gonna cause everyone to start fighting again. And these guys have been here 15 years. Uh, so that's pretty amazing. And uh, there you have it. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoy this Ask Camp Quenin. Kenan, I'm Quenin? Yeah, that's it, Kenan. Sometimes I get tongue tied. Sometimes I get tongue tied. Just kidding. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. We got a lot of cleanup to do. Look at the mess I've made, my poor, Habitat's been muddied and have tractors coming in and oh brother a lot of work These guys are gonna stay in here for a little while because I got do have some fence down out back 
And uh, I gotta get back to it, people. So thanks so much. Don't forget to join us on Patreon for more exclusive content. Content, go to patreon.com. I can't talk today. Patreon.com slash Camp Kennan. And uh, you can become a supporter. And you can uh, join up for some really cool uh, bonus videos and little, oh, little gifts that we're giving back to you. So there you have it. Another Ask Camp Kennan. I'll see you soon. Bye.